in this lesson we'll talk about compounds a combination of two or more words makes a compound there are two kinds of compounds in arabic murakkab taam and murakkab naqis murakkab taam and murakkab naqis murakkab na qis murakkab taam is a complete sentence murakkab naqis is an incomplete sentence it is a kind of phrase as we have got phrases in english there are four kind of murakkab naqis i'll first take up murakkab naqis and then we'll take up murakkab taam there are four kinds of murakkab naqis murakkab first murakkab mo ra kab to si fi to si fi to si fi murakkab to si the other one is murakkab izafi murakkab izafi is a p the third is murakkab ishari murakkab ishari and the fourth is murakkab jari ja there are four kinds of murakkabat murakkab tawsiqi murakkab izafi murakkab ishari and murakkab jari we'll take up each of these kinds separately in detail so first we'll take up murakkab tawsiqi murakkab tawsiqi is an adjectival phrase like rajulun rajulun salihun means a good man or imra'atun salihatun imra'atun salih atun rajulun salihun imra'atun salih a good man a good woman the word that describes the noun is called sifat sifat the word that describes the noun is called sifat and the word which has been described is called mosu mo su so there are two things which should be remembered that one is called sifat sifat is an attribute and mosu is the person which has been attributed the rule is that there should be exact correspondence between sifat and mausuf in every respect if mausuf is singular sifat should also be singular if it is dual it should also be dual if it is plural it should also be plural similarly if mausuf is masculine 
the sepal should also be masculine and if it is feminine the sepal should also be feminine if it is definite it should also be definite even arab of sepal and masub should correspond with each other in every respect for example we have rajunun rajunun this is uh, the the arab of these two is the same that is marfuun because of this now for example if it is a mansubun if if we if the rajulun is mansubun it should be rajulan then we will have to write salehan similarly if imraatan in raatan salehatan salehatan if it is that is mansu and if it is majroor like this rajju lin then it should it sibat should also be salehin so these are the era i mean their era should also be the same but there is one exception in this case that if the the sifat of broken plural of inanimate object is always feminine singular feminine the exception is this that the sifat of broken plural of inanimate object like kutubun nujumun or aqwabun like in kitab kitab is an inanimate object and its plural is broken plural it is kutubun ko to bun and if we have to give the for example if we have to give the sifat of kutubun like if we have to say old books or new books we we'll have to write the female gender sifat kutu kutubun adi adi matun Uh, the man. Or if we have to say, Najam. Najam is means stars, and its broken plural is Nujum. Nujum. Stars. And if we have to say brilliant star, we'll have to say Nujumun Lami Atun. la ni at the room is plural broken plural but its sifat is feminine singular singular feminine la mi atun similarly koob koob means cup koob koob means cup and its broken plural is aqua aqua and if we have to say clean cups cup cup means cup and aqua means cups so if we have to say clean cups 
Kresi Akwabun Akwabun Nadifatun Nadifatun So what I wanted to say that the sifat of broken plural of inanimate object are uh, singular feminine. They should be singular feminine. So this completes the topic on Murakkab Tawsifi. If you like the video, please subscribe it and push the bell icon so that upcoming videos could reach you. Thank you very much.